Greetings and welcome to Please Be Respectful to Our Parks. Hence the title, you know, what do we have here? A phallic object drawn right where I'm recording. Now, believe me, I did not draw this because, you know, how I'm a Civil Air Patrol officer, as you can see here, I would never do that. And not to mention that this phallic object here, of course, is a male private part, as you can see here. And I know better than to draw these. And of course, sorry if you can't see it well, it's because I'm under an awning, as you can see here, gazebo or whatever you want to call it. So as of right here, right now, I'm going to take you around any, you know, each and every angle of it, let you know that this is a phallic object. You cannot be doing this in our public parks because this is inappropriate. And not to mention that I want others, of course, to play safely here. And here refers to Academy Hills Park. It's a nice park. You have a little more selection in area than the Sunset Canyon Park, my childhood park that is. But anyway, this thing here, this is not appropriate. This must be dealt with. And YouTube, please forgive me for this because, you know, I just thought to get the word out to do something that's right because there's this episode of Full House where the playground got vandalized. And of course the Tanner family and everyone else had to help fix up the park thanks to the vandals deeds as of right here right now i really was not here and i was not expecting this to be here you know, please excuse my ignorance for not doing anything about this because i couldn't see what was going on i couldn't monitor it and as i came here today to pass time before a, a civil air patrol meeting sometime this week i stumbled across this especially because i'm a civil air patrol officer from the time being i recorded this video i'm a first lieutenant I thought to catch this and not to mention that I have autism as well and I'm high functioning. And of course, the reason why you see me act like this as well is because I've been around people who of course talk like me, things like that. And I have observed etiquette and not to mention that I had a good teacher back in high school who taught art. And of course he had a guideline of things that you probably should not draw. This is one of them. It's called nudity. In fact, Albuquerque Public Schools has a policy for nudity and I follow it as much as I can. The only times I don't follow it is when, of course, somebody needs help badly. And if it takes some weirdness, that's of course when I help as best I can. And not to mention if, if Mr. Richards is watching this video, Thank you for the guideline that you put on your classroom wall that says things you probably should not draw. If you have any information, please comment and or send me a message. And of course, I hope to hear from you all all very soon and hopefully I can get a reward for this good one.